here's a really easy meal for you on the road especially good on a cold day it's not particularly cold here today but it will be later on and that's when we'll be eating this chicken curry so easy look at this first ingredient olive oil um, good tip for travelers beer cooler keeps glass from shattering in the cupboards and they've got other uses too especially at the end of the day but I probably don't need to explain those to you do I uh, we'll start out with a couple of tablespoons probably three tablespoons of olive oil and then next in go some onions funny isn't it as soon as you've got onions frying you've got a delicious smell you've got a meal happening already before the onions are fried right up we add some curry powder you're going to ask me how much i'm going to say i don't really know in this case probably about a tablespoon and a half which sort of equates to lots you want it to look nice and curry nice and yellow the onions and the oil and the curry will all cook in together like yay gee, it smells good from this end i can tell you if you notice any camera shutter it's because jack really likes a curry too there we go and then once the onions have browned up nicely it's time to add the chicken I just got some skinless chicken breast which is really about the cheapest chicken you can buy even though it's the best the only part of this meal that you really have to be careful about is cooking the chicken because uncooked chicken is never very good so just make sure that at this stage you've got that chicken nicely cooked then you'll know it's right from then on in I like tomato in a curry all right and in goes some mushroom chopped up mushroom righto now with all that sizzling away it's time to add a few other ingredients oyster sauce I add it to everything well not quite everything my pancakes and oyster sauce weren't really a success there we go that's our salt content too I'm going to add a little bit of sweet chili sauce not a lot this is just to zing up the curry a little bit that should be about enough probably about a tablespoon if you're keeping track and because it's a curry I'm going to add a little bit of lemon now most vanners are going to find it a lot easier to travel with a bottle of lemon juice as opposed to lemons but if you've got fresh lemons by all means that's great and now for my secret ingredient I haven't really got many secrets have I but roses lime marmalade wow don't know why but for some reason in curries this stuff just works a treat don't want too much tablespoon and a half in this instance should do it just nicely okay now, all we need to do now is give it a good stir put the lid on the pot for a while let it all simmer up and there you go chicken curry that's going to be ready in about five minutes total preparation time 15 minutes gee i can cook it that means you can how easy is that you don't have to eat rubbish on the road do you not when you can do something as quick and easy as that oh that's looking good it's simmered for a few minutes everything's nice and hot heat build up in the pot into the shuttle chef which happens to be on top of the other pot full of rice guess what we're having chicken curry for dinner unreal